Hi and welcome back to today's video. So today we're going to do a little haul review-ish um, of some eyeshadows and then a highlighter that I got from Dandy Lines Cosmetics. They have like an Etsy shop and then they also have like their own website. Um, but it's like a small business. Um, and they sell single shadows. Um, and it's really cute and I wanted to try some. I've heard good things. Um, and so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna give like first impressions of the brand and then we'll go through the things that I got and we'll do some swatches and we'll do a little review of the eyeshadows. Um, I'm not wearing any of the products in here on my face today. So yeah, that's not what any of this is. So in terms of the website layout, the website layout is really good. Um, they give swatches of multiple skin tones. Um, they give like multiple swatches of lots of colors. They also compare different shades in their swatches. So you can be like looking at one shade of yellow and it'll show like three others. And so if you go, oh, actually I like that other shade better, you can go find it because it also gives you that shade's name. So I thought the website was really easy to use um, and really nice. Um, the cart is really easy to use. Um, just an overall good experience with the website. Um, packaging, I bought mostly mattes and then one highlighter and one duochrome. Um, and so, like, there was a lot of packaging. So, like, the highlighter and the duochrome were both wrapped, like, in their own container um, that had a lot of bubble wrap around it. And then all the other ones also had their own bubble wrap. And then inside of the bubble wrap, they were inside of their own little plastic baggies. I understand the plastic baggies um, because if it did, like, shatter or something, it'd be easy to get all the material to, like, repress it. Um, I feel like there was a lot of saran wrap. I understand that as, like, a small business, they want to like make sure things don't break um because they can't really like replace them if they do um but it just felt like a lot of packaging um it also came with stickers which was really cute i don't have the stickers with me but they were some cute stickers um and i thought that was like a nice little touch as well as like a little note which is one of the reasons i love small businesses and getting stuff from small businesses is it like actually is like a person you know and that's nice um but yeah my one complaint would be like a lot of bubble wrap to the point where it's like kind of like I don't feel like as because like one of the things with getting single shadows is like it is less packaging you're not paying for like the plastic of like the palette um but like when there's that much bubble wrap you're kind of like uh which like obviously palettes are also wrapped in bubble wrap so there's really just no winning but anywho um now let's get into the shadows um so I basically went through the website, I put every single shadow I liked into my cart, and then I went through my cart and I like deleted things um, based on like what I was like, I already have the color like this or anything like that. Um, and I try to get colors that I don't have in my collection, which I think I did a really good job with. Um, I really wanted to go for like pastels, or I just found that I was like drawn to pastels right now. Um, so I got all of these shadows, and then this is a green tinted highlighter which I really really like um spoilers um but I don't know if you can tell but they all look kind of like darker than pastel um which so I was kind of concerned when I first got them but they all transfer like both onto the eyes and like in swatches very pastel so they look darker than they actually are um so I'm gonna go through them I guess in no particular order um so the first one is this blue one. It's called Winkle. It's just like a nice blue pastel color. Um, and it, and it like works really well. All of the mattes seem to work like really well and like are good. Um, the next one is called Spearmint and it's just like a pastel green. Um, I think these two colors are gonna look, look really nice together. The next matte is um, a yellow. I got two different yellows. I got Daisy, which is like a more of a light yellow. And then I got, I believe it's called Clementine, which, no, I got Tangy. The orange is called Clementine, which is more, it's not a mustard yellow, but it's more of like a bright yellow. Um, so it's a little bit darker, which was the goal. So those are the two yellows like next to each other. So they're definitely like different, which I do like that they, there's like an obvious difference between them. Um, the next thing I got is Clementine, which is almost like a terracotta color, um, which I'm a big fan of. Like, it's exactly what I wanted it to be. Um, like, a, like an orangey terracotta color. 
um, which I just think is really, really pretty. So I'm very into it. And then the final mat I got was Lila, which is like a lavender purple color, which I really like. I have a lot of purples, um, but I have none that is this color. And so I was like very much like, ah, now I have to get it. Um, and then the one duochrome I got is called Greenhouse. I'll swatch it on my other hand so it has its own space. Um, but I really, really like it. Um, I've never, like, really used a duochrome before. Um, and so I wasn't, like, sure exactly what to, like, expect. Um, but it's really pretty. It's like a gold shift. Um, and I really like it. And then the last thing I got is the highlighter in Sprian, um, which is like a green tinted highlighter. Like I said, it's like a silver green kind of shift, um, but it's very not noticeable when you're not in the light. Like when you're in the light, it's like a greeny kind of glow, but it's not in the light. It's not like there's very little residue, I guess. I don't know what to call it. Like it doesn't, it's not like obviously green on your cheeks, I guess. Um, yeah. Um, so that's just everything. Um, my, like, current review, having used, um, a few of the colors, um, and the highlighter, um, a few times now, um, is that it stays on, it blends really well, um, the colors are, like, exactly what I picked out on the website, so I think, like, that, you, you're buying exactly what you want and then you're getting exactly what you bought, which is really, really nice. Um, just in terms of like the layout of the website and then like these swatches being so accurate they have swatches on lots of different skin tones so you can see how it would work on you which is really nice um, it's like I think one man does like it all by himself it's like a one person company um, which is cool um, well other than that thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye